Hey guys, today we are going to talk about network marketing. Is it legal? Is it genuine? And in one line of network marketing is like people might approach you for uh, like they might say that okay, here is an offer and you can get like monthly fixed income. So I have a friend Vishal. So let's deep dive what you went through and what was the situation that you came across and all that. So my first question to you is like, tell me like how did they reach you? Uh, what happened was a week back I was searching for like opportunities on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. on LinkedIn of all platforms, and I get a DM from a guy. Okay, and this guy has a suit on. He had some fancy labels. Uh, fitness enthusiast, leader, marketer, innovator, blah blah blah, you know how it is and he sent me a DM okay and he was like uh, hey Vishal your profile suits our requirements and I am in the healthcare space and so are you would you like to connect and discuss and take this forward sounds pretty genuine don't you think so what did you do next so uh, since I was a bit desperate, I was like, the next minute I was like, okay, uh, sure, uh, I'd love to discuss more about your venture and how I could yeah. contribute to your organization. Just like what anyone would do in yeah, such a yeah. situation like that on LinkedIn, right? And then he, uh, he replies back saying, oh, that sounds good. Uh, let's fix up a time uh, to discuss and take this forward. Interesting. <laughs> so he called you at what time and what happened in the call? <laughs> okay, so it was a Zoom call. It was a face to face, like on the like you know on the video conferencing thing, mm -hmm. and I got to see him. Mm -hmm. Okay, look like a look like a very genuine guy. Um, and okay, so here I must tell you, reason that at some point I did obviously have that a little bit of a thing. Is this genuine? Is it not? Because uh, there's no company name. There's no company logo on LinkedIn. And he says he works for a company. He didn't even say the name of the company, mind you. Interesting. So when he had DM me, he didn't say the name of the company. Nothing. Okay. okay. So I was a little skeptical. I thought, okay, fine. Maybe it's his own homebred venture. Maybe it's something he's starting out with someone. Maybe they haven't bought a license yet. Okay. Those are uh, good. Like, you know, th those are good points to keep. So I was like, why not just give it a shot and let's see what he wants and you know what I thought Raisin at least I might get a freelancing project out of it mm -hmm. that was that was all that is there in my mind now everyone is so desperate because of the covid and yeah. like everyone is losing job so you think is this sort of spam or what happened could you tell me oh yeah what yeah happened in the so call? I didn't talk much about what happened to call so yeah. on the call okay um, I spent the first 10 minutes pitching myself, selling myself, telling what I do, mm -hmm. like a normal job call, the kind of effort that you would take, mm -hmm. the same thing which I took, the kind of sh like stuff that I did on the company, uh, the achievements I've got, the awards I've won, uh, why they should hire me basically. I spent 10 minutes of giving him a pitch mm -hmm. and telling him what I could do, but I, then I told him, I asked him, the, I asked him the golden question, I was like, okay, see, the thing is, I have a lot of questions surrounding this because I don't know your company. Mm -hmm. Uh, I did check your profile out. I told him I told him this honest face. I was not scared. So I don't like you know I had a good look at I tried to understand more about your company because I want to learn more. So could you tell me something about your company? Something specifically where I can contribute? Hmm. And that's when he asked, he just told me, Vishal, uh, if you're talking about where you can contribute, we want you to be a partner. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. Okay. Yeah, he said, he said like, you know, I want you to be a partner. A partner with how much percentage, how much money? <laughs> nothing, nothing. And, 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 and when I heard those words, I knew, okay, something is wrong. He didn't answer my question. Did, did, did he ask you to read some book or something like that? No, I'll get to it. Okay. Because, because more interesting, all the Gyan session happens a bit later. But, but to tell you guys, to sum it in short, what's really important is he didn't give me a name of the company. He didn't answer my question. Hmm. He didn't tell me where they wanted me to contribute. He didn't answer that question as well. Okay. On the chat and I think you can like, you know, I'll show you the chat a bit later, hmm. right? So that like all of us can view it, uh, that he clearly says that, uh, you know, we are looking at disrupting the distribution chain of healthcare in India and we are making and we're looking at unifying the distribution network. Now, I was like, See, that's... Like in what way? Yeah, and there's no specifics. Okay. 
we are in healthcare number one we want we are going to disrupt industry number two we are going to <laughs> work we, we're going to we're going to take care of distribution of distribution of what now i'm in healthcare you've had some experience in healthcare we know that healthcare has 101 sub verticals within it there are so many distribution chains so many supply chains written like you know controlled by so many different kinds of organizations in this space right and he's going to like make all this one i mean like <laughs> i was like what how is he going to do that He's going to do it with a bunch of Amway products. And you know when this came? This came the third time. The third time I had a discussion with him. So this went on for four days. Four days. Okay. How long was the conversation? How long was the call? Each time we had a call, it went for at least one hour. At least one hour. Because I'll tell you what reason. And what time do they call usually? They call around and they always call on the off hours, 9.30, 9 o'clock, 9.30, 9 o'clock. It's usually that time. It's like late night. Late nights. Wow. And uh, yesterday was the final call because I have to end this, man. I can't play this game with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it ended at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock at night. Oh, it started at 10.45 ended at 12. And you know what I asked? I, I actually like kind of try to get from him, okay? Why is this like calls at such, such off hours, you know, when you should probably be doing something else, you know? And he said that that, uh, oh, I've been having 12 calls a day. You know what I realized? When I get into this so-called business or when any of you get into this so-called business, we are going to be making calls like this off the hook, getting more and more people in. So basically you're saying he he was maybe he was able to track 12 people, no, 11 people. <laughs> but so imagine 11 people every day. Wow, that's a lot of number. A lot of number. And I asked him, okay, in my last conversation yesterday, I asked him, huh? are you going to get any money out of getting a partner? And you know how I phrased it? I was like, see, uh, listen, man. So you basically told me, I'll go a bit into how the, this one, how the money making process works. So this is how he explained it to me. Now, when I, if I become his partner, I need to go and find other partners. Okay, but before I go and find other partners like me or other bakras like me, okay, I have to start selling Amway products to three people A, B, and C. Now, you know what these three people are, isn't A is your blood relatives, your, your, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your uncle, and aunt. B happens to be your friends. Your closest friend. So you're my B circle raisin. Okay, tomorrow you might get a call from me saying neutralite. <laughs> that's how that's how ridiculous it's gonna be, okay? That's the B list. And the C list is everybody else out there on the face of the earth. And how do you get to going to the C list or how do you get the numbers or database of people in the be careful of the words I'm using? Numbers and database of the people who exist out there, you get it through infiltrating your B list. That is you. Oh, wow. So your friends become my clients or partners. So either they buy a neutralite dabba from me, okay, or they go and become my partners in the business. So huh. if you sell one product of Amway, like how much do you get a commission? So you know he showed me the slides thingy, okay, the PowerPoint thing to convince me why I should be a part of the business. Now, and you know what was written on the slides, reason thirty three lakh point eight four. 86 lakh, these are the numbers written over there. <laughs> and to convince me that he was a bechara, okay, seriously, I felt bad for a guy because he's been conned and he understood he's been conned, but I think he understands that there's no other way out of it. It's desperation. Mm -hmm. And I could literally see myself going on that, that road if I took his offer, okay. And he showed me these flashy numbers and told me I get four streams of revenue after selling one product. So I get a commission made out of that product for selling one product. I get a fee. Okay. Now the MRP I'm selling it to you. So for example, if I'm selling it to you for 200 rupees, the actual price of the product is 50 bucks. Okay. I get a commission out of that profit, which is being made. I get to quote it to you for 220 bucks because on the bottle, there won't be any MRP sticker. So I get to have a small margin where I can also make some additional money off you. Okay. And here's another third part of the revenue process. The more products I sell, the more I get an incentive for selling some more products. So I have a target 
to achieve so there are three sources of revenue the company per se is not going to pay you a single dime and this came only in the last call all these details i'm telling you came in the last call so keep in mind people whoever is watching this video <clears throat> they're not going to tell you that you're going to make they're going to tell you that you're going to make money but they're not going to give you a single rupee in your hand that is what it is they will tell you in the beginning join our company join our organization you know byju's we are like byju's <laughs> Baiju's outsources. So this is something they told me. Okay, Baiju's outsources their operations to everybody, but they keep the marketing and strategy vertical within the company. We are like that. We outsource all of this to everybody, and we keep the marketing and strategy. And that was just a hook to get me because I'm in marketing. So that was just a hook to get me, right? Uh, the only reason why I followed up reason is somewhere I do not know. I got a sliver of wisdom somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I was able to understand that this guy is out to con me, and that's why I could play a game with him. But I don't think everybody would take it that way, especially when you're desperate. I was desperate, but I knew that this is not legit. Thank you. Because I've been in a similar situation before. So, if you have to tell the audience how not to get stuck in this sort of trap, what are the three advice that you would tell them? It's a crazy question you ask, and I really wanted to tell this out. There are there is a kind of framework which I kind of keep in mind because there are three people till date I have met who have done the same shit with me. Okay, the first thing they do is they will tell you that business is a way to go, jobs are bad. Jobs keeps you a slave to work. Okay, businesses will help you scale up your life. When you there is no retirement for you in business, you can keep a process and you can leave it, and it will continue to make money. Even if you die, your family will get money. This is what they will tell reason. And there is this book written by Robert Kiyosaki. It's a great book. I've read it before any network marketer told me. Okay, but those guys give you that book and say we teach you how to do this in action. Okay, I hope Robert Kiyosaki sues these people. Okay, because that that that's not anything of what he said. All he said was. You need, I mean, like if you can be an entrepreneur, it's better than being a person who works till you're fifty-six and retire, right? And we all know that that is a thing. It's always better to have a business, but it's risky to have a business. So these guys are playing on that thing and telling you jobs are bad. Don't work. Join a business. Join our business. Become a partner. Okay. So the first step is number one. They tell you to. They tell you that jobs are bad. Business is good. Join our business. That's the first thing. The second thing they do is they actually send you a PDF of that book <laughs> and say, read it, read it. Otherwise, you will not know anything. Okay, so read that book, read this material because we will teach you how to be rich. They say this. They say this. They say the same words with the same kind of flamboyance. We will teach you how to be rich. This is the second thing that they do. They send you material. They send you books. Okay, that's the second thing you need to watch out for. So first, jobs are bad. Second, we send you a book. Read it. That means you're in the red zone. Don't don't read that book. <laughs> and the third, the third uh, most important thing is they will have another call. They will have back to back calls and follow up with you. Mm -hmm. They'll be really nice and sweet with you. They will answer every question you have. They will even tell you that if you tell other people about this, they will tell you that it is something bad. So don't really take it to heart because there are many people out there to cheat you, but we're not out there to cheat you. Third thing they tell you. Because they understand that they're coming closer in and in the net. This guy was dumb. This guy was dumb because he didn't realize that I was like taking his case. But basically, they will tell you that people may tell you this is not a job, but that is what happens to people when they start a business. When they start a business, they will encounter resistance, and that's so bad to take that and put it here because it's not a business. This is, this is conning. This is scamming. Okay. And the fourth thing they finally tell you is that you are in control of your wealth. You can make as much as money as you want if you take this business, and if you get other people to be a part of the business, you can earn much more. That is the model. So the thing is, it starts with selling Amway products to you, then it starts with making Raisin my partner, getting him to sell, and for everything he sells, my commission becomes bigger. Got it. So basically, we'll be overridden by a bunch of people who are all related to each other, who are still sell selling the same shit. Thanks, Vishal. That was really informative. I think you guys won't get stuck in this sort of trap. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Also, 
but guys more than being stay safe like you know from the pandemic you should stay safe from these kind of offers there are better jobs out there verify those people and get in touch with a good place where you can have a better future what we shall missed don't forget to hit that bell icon <laughs>